Hey, sneaking us back in the new year. Yeah, we had some time off, didn't we? Yeah, I was just being really lazy, and it was Christmas, and we was all ill. So anyway, what do we have for you here first? Well, this is the release candidate of Snow Linux 4 Glacier. Yes, Glacier. Yeah, a bit, a bit cold, a bit snowy. Yeah, you know. As you can see, we installed it here. Just a basic, basic install. I've not done any extras here or anything like that, so we're just going to go through it with you, and we'll have a quick look and see how we go. As you can see, looks standard fare, until we go down to the menu, okay? And we've got Mate. Yes, we have got Mate. Yeah, your Mate from Argentina, I think. Apparently somebody told me a while ago it was first developed, but hey, what do I know? I just work here. So, flash players here, blah, 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 all done. I think I might have installed that myself, actually. I can't just remember. You get your appearance, archive manager, the, all the usual stuff, accessories, yeah, we're all here, blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go too much into this one because it's just a release candidate. But what I will say, it hasn't crashed or anything. It runs nice. It's based on Debian testing, remember? So, yes, it's all there. It's Debian pure, pure and simple. All they have to do is bits of extras in there and stuff like that. As you can see, we've got graphics here. All you get is an eye of mates, the image viewer, a PDF viewer, another image viewer. LibreOffice to full sort stuff there, and Shotwell for your photos. Under Internet, we have the Firefox web browser, which is nice to use. Under Office, as I said, full LibreOffice. Sound and video, you get Brazero, the rhythm box, and your volume control. Okay. System tools, use your. I'll go to System Monitor, and you can see what it's using. Now, as you can see, it's not using anything at all, and it's only using just over 150 meg of my RAM, which is rather nice, I think, to myself. So that's all right, isn't it? So what else we've got here? Uh, under administration, usual, you can change anything you want to, really. Home folder, lock screen, log out, and quit. And I think that's been spelled. Never mind. Okay. So we've got the browser up. Here we go. And see what happens with the old Fox when it decides to open. Here we go. Uses DuckDuckGo as its default search engine, which I can live with. And that's the only one it comes with. But you can add others if you really want to. So I'll tell you what, we'll go and put, we'll put Snow Linux in. I think I've already done before, but hey, because I had a little play. Did I mean Snow Linux? Well, of course I did. Okay, so we click on Snow Linux from DuckDuckGo. And here we are at their main page, okay? Got quite a few ads on it as well, by the way. Like that one. I'm going to cross that up. I'll do that. I hope that was another page. Look, I don't want to do that. So, boys, sort that one out because we don't want to do that at all. Okay, the new features. I'll just go through them with you quickly. Uses Debian, as I said before. It's Linux 3.5 and Mate 1.4, and now using a light DM instead of the other one. Okay, improved Snow Linux metal theme and metal icons, and a cough from Sneaky Girl in the background there. The Snow Menu and Snow Mountain U. Also, you get Firefox 17 and Chunderbird 17, which is good too. And you get some nice HD backgrounds, which I'll have a little look of in a momento. But that's all the new ones, really, that's here, really and truly. But remember, it is a release candidate, okay? If I quickly go to the BBC, we see how the page renders. I'm going to have a quick look. Okay. This is reasonably fast, so I can live with that. Got that bevel curve. Okay. Opens up. There you go. There's the news. Renders okay. I like it. Nice. Super. Okay. That's enough of that. If I go here, if I go to preferences. No, 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 no. Where will I find him? If I right click, I want to change my desktop background and let's see if we've got any new ones in there like he said he had. We'll give it five, four, three. I just told a distro before actually, it took a while for the backgrounds to come up. If I click on themes, it might do it. No, background, no, fonts, no. You don't want to play a game with me at the moment, does it? Look. Ah, a little bit of a lag there. Okay. Oh, there, there's some nice desktop backgrounds. Hmm. I wonder where they're stolen from. Not really, no. Not really. Okay. So we'll change the desktop background just for a new one. We'll go for that one for now. That's rather nice, isn't it? I don't mind that one at all. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, using Mate in Snow Lakes is quite easy, really. I mean, if you're used to Mate, you'll know what we're looking at <clears throat> and stuff like that. It runs okay. Yeah, I can, I can really like it. And if you want to use a Debian-based distro, it's a little bit different, but not too much. It may be the one for you. But apart from that, I can't re recommend anything more about it because I really need to see a bit more in the workings of it. But it is stable, so that's really the main thing. Yeah. Am I going to rate it? Release candidate? No, I'm not going to bother rating it. And it's a new year as well, so it gives everybody a little break, doesn't it? Anyway, that's Snow Linux for Glacier. Release candidate. Sneaky Linux. And the sneaky kids all ill. Out. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.